into the rain and I like those snowy days when everything looks pretty but then it gets so cold I find myself wishing about some more heart at the end, back at the start. Yeah, could do. Let's see if Joe wants to put more heart in. Which is yes, so I can do that, yeah. <laughs> you can do the same as the intro, just a wee bit more heart at the end. Right? Yeah, but quieter and low, really low. Right? Mm. Yeah, because yeah. the rain's stopping low there. Low notes. to add some logical harp. Is that note you know? Mm. Should I finish on the same mm. one that we started on? Um, I think that one might sound a little bit disturbing. Too much of a conclusion. Like it before. Yeah. So if I can go down to that one, mm. if I come back to this one. Mm. Sleep by the end of it.
week two of recording the album up here in beautiful Scotland, Glasgow. Um, I did some filming last time I was here and I can't remember everything I said so um, I might be repeating myself but um, the first week of recording was in a studio up here and we had loads and loads of technical difficulty difficulties and um, all kinds of things happened and it was really difficult to get in the zone properly and record this album properly um, but we did manage to get a lot of the keyboard parts down, the music parts and two of the vocal tracks um, so when we listened to everything afterwards we, we realised that there were two that we could keep and everything else we either had to do, had to redo the vocals or um, uh, redo the vocals and the music so, but it was really nice to have that time to just digest all of the songs and just work out a little bit more the style of the recording and the vibe of the songs and the way I was going to sing them. Um, found a new studio. Uh, got on really well with the engineer that we had last time so we're working with him again this week and um, the studio has a really nice feel about it. It's full of really old school instruments and analog equipment and there's just stuff everywhere. It's like being in a, a 90s teenager's bedroom, a music fan. <laughs> it's just stuff everywhere, even tape recorders, loads of old equipment. So I did feel like I wanted to tidy up a little bit when I got here and then I just let that go. <laughs> We made a really nice vocal den with, um, I'll show you in a sec, all of the panels around me and I brought, brought a blanket that you see here, put my scarf over the uh, music stand and have my own mics with me here. Just made it really nice and cosy. And we've just finished recording the last song. tried to sing the vocal for it yesterday and everything was going so well every single day this is uh, so we came travelled up to, on Sunday recorded Monday recorded Tuesday recorded Wednesday and it's now Thursday morning um, we just we were just speeding through the tracks and um, so many of the vocal tracks I got down so quickly and that's really unusual um, just when the feeling's right and when the when the vibe is right and I feel really relaxed and calm it just uh, is so much easier to do and um, so we got through the tracks really quick and then yesterday um, we worked on rain in the morning and I did all of the ASMR sounds over the top and it was really nice and then came to record Rainbow and uh, Joe rewrote the music and we found a new, a new instrument for it and it's really beautiful and I came in here to sing it and just suddenly lost it <laughs> I just became felt really overwhelmed and um, the realisation that this was the last song I was going to sing, um, how tired I felt and just felt really emotional. I'd been on the phone to home earlier that day and I just needed a rest so we just clocked off about five o'clock, half past five yesterday. Got back here this morning and um, the vibe is right again and I've just, just done it had a shaky start and then uh, or came in at the wrong time and then said da, 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 da. it started again and I just did it all in one take like that and it was so nice so the whole vibe of this album is a mum singing to her child a parent singing to their child to sleep so it's really soft really intimate uh, not very breathy 
and some ASMR sounds over the top. Uh, it's just very close and very quiet and sleepy. So some of the songs I've had to um, throw away the ego and the musical side, musical expectations and um, whenever I've not hit a note correctly or um, just just not sung it as um, professionally I guess as I could or um, impressively as I could I suppose uh, I've just had to let that go because it's not nothing it's nothing to do with that it's not not about that it's um it's me singing to my child and when you're lying down on your side and it's the middle of the night or it's really late at night and the notes don't always come out so I wanted it to be like that and that's how it is so it's beautiful so that's it, we're going to um, now start working on editing. We're here for another this afternoon and two more days. We might spill over into Saturday, uh, we've allowed for that just in case. And we're going to start editing the tracks now. Uh, and then once the editing's been done, then we're going to go to mixing and mastering. We might do that down south. So there might be uh, another vlog with me in a different place next. Um, yeah. I feel really amazing to be doing this. It's so nice. It feels like a really important thing to do. Joe's songs are absolutely beautiful. And um, meaningful. And, and performed and recorded in this style is perfect. I'm so happy to be doing this. Shall I show you my vocal booth? Hang on. Those are the lyrics I've just been singing, and I can show you now because this vlog will come out after after the album has. I've been sharing pictures on Instagram, but uh, I covered up the lyrics. This is Rainbow. Rainbow, where do you come from? Rainbow, where do you go? I've been thinking about it. Are you magic? I don't know. Pretty. So this is my routine before I start singing. It's all very ordered. Has to be done right to be in the correct vibe. So I've got some vocal zone here which I use for recording videos as well. And my lip balm. So since I had my oh, since I had my veneers done, they they're quite dry. They're not like normal teeth so they're often dry and when you speak with them it changes the voice and so when I sing anything with F or speak anything with F it sounds a bit harsh, so I figured out that if I put lip balm on my teeth, it helps, so I've been doing that. And where's my... As usual, I've got my breathe, so I pour that onto the tissue here and breathe that in. I've got the sage... The sage. Where's the camera? Let's pop it there. It's low light, I think. So this is the sage roll-on that I found in the hotel room in in the um, in the room in San Francisco, <laughs> and it's nearly run out. So I'm going to have to find some more. I've got my scarf over the music stand. There's a lamp here. I've had a heater down here as well because it's been quite cold. And microphones. There's this old curtain that I found on the floor to cover one of the boards. These are my little tables I've had with me. The songs. 
coconut water to hydrate my voice, to hydrate my throat. Water, some lavender hand lotion, lipstick and tissues and more vocal zone. It's important to have, to be really, really comfortable and calm, so I have everything I need. And these are the boards. I'm very close to them, so there you go. I have boards all around me, soundproofing boards, and the one in front here is see-through, so I can see the control room through those windows there. See those wooden things on the wall? Those are sound traps, so they're really good for uh, drums when they have bands in here. Some lovely pictures just there. I'm going to go back in the control room now and start working on the editing.